yuko hapa uh, sisi mamlaka ya maji safi na usafi wa mazingira kwa ajili ya kusaini mkataba. Mkataba huu ni mkataba wa technical assistance na hii kazi itaenda kufanywa na kampuni inayofahamika kama Gopa Infra ni kampuni kutoka Ujerumani lakini itashirikiana pamoja na kampuni inaitwa Superlit Consulting Limited ni kampuni ya hapa nyumbani Tanzania mkataba huu una, una, una jumla ya thamani ya shilingi za Tanzania bilioni tisa na tunatarajia mradi utatekelezwa amini mkataba utatekelezwa kwa muda wa miaka minne kuanzia leo tarehe 4 mwezi wa 11 na na nne mpaka mwezi Novemba mwaka na na nane. Kwa hiyo ni matarajio yangu kwamba uh, sisi watu wa Shuasa tuta, tutafanya kwa ushirikiano sana na kampuni ya Gopa Infra pamoja na Superlit Consulting Limited katika kuhakikisha malengo ya serikali katika uboreshaji wa huduma za maji safi pamoja na usafi wa mazingira katika maeneo yanayohudumiwa na Shuasa kwa maana ya manispaa ya Shinyanga, Tinde, Didia pamoja na Islamagazi yanakamilika yana hasa katika kufikia asilimia tano za upatikanaji wa huduma za maji maeneo ya mijini na asilimia tano za upatikanaji wa huduma za maji katika maeneo ya vijijini. Aa, kama sehemu ya utekelezaji wa mradi mkubwa ambao unafadhiliwa kwa pamoja kati ya shirika la maendeleo la Ufaransa pamoja na serikali ya Tanzania Uh, Gopa Infra wataenda kusaidia sehemu ya usimamizi wa mradi. Mradi huu umegawanyika katika sehemu kubwa tatu. Sehemu ya kwanza tunaita kama technical assistance. Hawa wanaenda kutusaidia sisi katika usimamizi wa utekelezaji wa mradi kwa maana ya kwamba wao watakuwa wanatusaidia moja kwa moja sehemu ya uh, niseme projects au contract management. Kwa hiyo watakuwa wanatusaidia kufanya kazi pamoja na mhandisi mshauri anayefuata atakayekuwa design and supervision consultants lakini pia kumsimamia mkandarasi kuboresha huduma za maji safi na usafi wa mazingira hili ndio lengo kubwa la mradi lakini kwa maana ya mkataba tunaosaini leo uh, mhandisi mshauri huyu au consultant huyu yeye ataenda kutusimamia katika sehemu moja tu ya uh, kuijengea uwezo taasisi ni sehemu hivyo au kwa Kiingereza wanasema capacity building kwa hiyo atafanya atafanya pamoja na sisi katika ku, kwanza kufahamu maeneo gani ambayo mamlaka Uh, inahitaji katika kujengewa uwezo kwa taasisi watumishi pamoja na na, na, na sehemu nyingine katika uboreshaji wa utoaji wa huduma za maji safi pamoja na usafi wa mazingira. Kwa jina naitwa engineer Fortunatus Kasimbi ni mkurugenzi wa Superlit Consulting Limited kutoka Tanzania. Uh, Superlit Consulting Limited imeungana na kampuni ya Gopa Infra kutoka Ujerumani katika mkataba ambao umesainiwa leo wa uh, shughuli ya kujengea uwezo kama mkurugenzi alivyosema mamlaka ya maji ya Shuasa. E, mkataba huu nadhani imeelezwa kwa kirefu sana. Itakuwa unahusika na na shughuli ya kujengea uwezo kwa ujumla, kuangalia mapungufu yaliyopo katika katika kipindi cha miaka minne, lakini kat, pamoja na na shughuli zote zikozozote zinaendelea za mkataba wa ujenzi, ile mkandarasi ambaye anatakiwa kujenga huu mradi, pia tutakuwa tunashirikiana na pamoja na Shuasa kwa ajili ya kuhakikisha kwamba shughuli zote zinaenda vizuri na zinaenda kwa ufasaa na ubora unaotakiwa. Lakini pia tutaangalia mifumo iliyopo kwa sasa hivi ambayo ipo na ambayo inatakiwa kuendelezwa ili angalau mamlaka ya maji ya, ya Shuasa katika kipindi chote ambacho uh, ujenzi unaendelea na utakapoisha iwe ni, 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 ni mamlaka ambayo pia inaweza kusimama yenyewe na kufanya shughuli zake yenyewe kwa kwa katika hatua ya kimataifa. My name is Stefan Dona. I'm the country I'm the regional representative of uh, Gopa and uh, we are very excited uh, to commence uh, the project which is to provide technical assistance to Shawaza in the implementation of one of the biggest investment programs uh, Shawaza has seen for, for many years. As you know, an investment uh, program only becomes successful if you complement the investment with uh, institutional support with capacity building so that uh, the institution who is taking over the new infrastructure is, is ready to operate and maintain uh, the operations of this uh, infrastructure in a manner that it becomes sustainable. And sustainable is sustainability, to achieve sustainability, doesn't uh, require uh, uh, infrastructure, it needs a human, human capital. And, uh, and the higher we can achieve uh, the capacity, to improve the capacity of, 
the operators, the management of Shawasa, the, the more likely this investment becomes sustainable and it will last for a long time and it can generate income to Shawasa so that you become financially independent, stable, and you're not requiring subsidies from central government. And I think these are one of the key issues that to improve services to the population of, of Xinyanga and uh, other surrounding areas, but also for you as an, as an operator to be uh, sustainable and uh, say independent. Yeah? And, uh, and this is one of the core activities we will provide under this uh, program, technical assistance, capacity building, institutional support, so that in the end the investment is, uh, is secured by you, the management and your operating staff to, to have that capacity yeah, to, to be uh, successful yeah, with uh, operating the new infrastructure. So we are extremely excited to be part of it. It's a four year program and uh, we will stay with you in, uh, in the early stages and when it becomes difficult. We have a lot of experience in the company over the last 60 years. We are implementing similar type of projects around the world and uh, we are committed yeah, to, the, to the success. And uh, I'm, I'm confident that the team we have selected and with our team leader, Dirk Schimens, who has a, a very rich uh, experience in the same subject, that we together as a team yeah, can, can achieve uh, what is needed and, and bring this project to a success. So I'm, I'm very happy to be in Tanzania. I'm very happy to be in Shinyanga. And uh, I'm looking forward to come back here and, uh, and see that we are all doing good. Yeah.